Yo everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's day two here in Lusa. Today's video is a little bit gonna be a mix of riding, making sure that what we have right here is working smoothly and we're getting data from it. So this is a motion instrument telemetry kit. Uh, this is the front thingy machiki. <laughs> and then this is the rear. For the shock, it has spare parts uh, with it, but we've had, or Scouse has had to make some custom little bits for it to attach to the shock. Shout out to Rob at Motion Instruments. He was very kind enough to send us uh, one of these kits at very short notice. I think it's gonna be really, really interesting to look through the data and actually have an opportunity to see what is going on uh, with the bike when it's in action on the track. So it's all fair and well, like taking guesses and going by feeling, but to have actual legit numbers and stats to have a look at and see if the bike is balanced is gonna be real interesting. Um, I did use it a few years ago and it was interesting, I didn't really understand it, but that was like four or five years ago. So I think having Scouts here, we can both kind of like be confused at it and like hopefully figure it out. So yeah, we've got a couple shocks to try. We've got this one here, which is actually um, newer, or not newer, but a little tune. thing inside. It's got a different tune inside and we only got it back uh, the other week. And then we've already, he's already installed a little bracket at the back. And then he's made something custom for on the top here that I'll show like once he's starting to give it a shot. The plan today is to get this installed and then head up the hill, do some runs. Not really focusing on changing anything today, but we're just gonna make sure that the motion instruments telemetry does not fall off the bike and it's all intact. And then the next video we do, we'll be testing and changing stuff. Um, we'll take a little bit of a review and look at the data tonight and try and understand it, but it's gonna be an interesting day and uh, be cool to have something on my bike that's gonna hopefully benefit me for the time that we make changes uh, on the bike that's coming up. So. so the little custom modification we've had to make or that Scouse made is this is from a cassette spacer. So he's just chopped it in half, kind of bent it to shape, which will then fit on the shock body here and threaded it in the middle that this little knob end will screw into. For sure, a custom bodge mod. And then we've got the other shock there. So we've got new tune here, last year's tune. So it's only taken us a little bit of time, but we've got it fitted. There's the front one, the sensor is up here on the bar. And then we've got the rear sensor here, bodge job here, and it's very fine, but we've managed to uh, managed to make it work. So all this links up to your phone for the data. And then Scouse obviously has his iPad here. Lift the bike up. Like that? Yeah. Keep it there Tom. Calibration is complete. So the yellow's the shock. And then the fork the, is the blue one. And then the top bit is vibration. You think that's insane to see? Yeah. That's well cool. So we'll, so that'll like tell us if the one's like massively different from the other. Yeah. Whether it's balanced or not. Yeah. There he is. The Scouse Mouse. <laughs> Adios. Front and rear. Live. Just to make sure it's working. Cool. All right, we're recording. I'm gonna do a full run. Try and pick up the speed a little bit. It's great speed out of that. Side. 
landed pretty deep off that. I'd say that was my fastest time yet. Stoked on that. I reckon that's my best time, like I said. Felt pretty good. Um, it's definitely more slick. Got to take into consideration the more I go on, the more tired I get, but that's what's part of the really good side of it with training. So you can see this was second run. Gives you all the vibration measurements, fork movement to vibration, vibration averages, stroke range analysis, and then obviously we've got the graph here. We have fork, so all the axle, deep like compression length, like all that. It's the same, speeds, shock position, rear axle, and then the balance is, is really, is really uh, interesting. So it's the front to rear axle, so there's a bit of, it's not really balanced um, at all. But we can get that, and then obviously you've got like speed, travel, you can go fork, you can go vertical, you can just do the fork, you can do the shock, both you can do rebound so rebound i think straight off the bat that looks like that's somewhat balanced but so yeah uh, so many stats honestly it's crazy uh, but not many, not too many runs today as far as filming um like i said just making sure it works and it's intact and uh, getting the runs in for the training that we're doing um is definitely good for me and my arms and my hands <sighs> Couldn't resist. Went for another run. I went for another run. Um, I felt yeah. like that is what I'm going to stick with for today for timing. Um, I was happy with the other one, but I felt like I could maybe nail my line a little bit better and consistently. So I feel like they're going to be very similar, but the, that one might be a little bit faster. <coughs> The last run there, as you can see, it's given the data. We've got like fork info there, shock info there, rear axle, 
then the balance is interesting we'll definitely have to dive more deep into that so today was good we did a fair few runs um the telemetry all stayed um intact and mounted to the bike which was the goal we were able to take a look at some of the uh, data and communicate a little bit with rob emotion instruments everything seems to be working and we're getting readings um the shock we need to calibrate it uh i would show you data i'd rather drag it up when it's legit as far as like i said we need to calibrate it a little bit better and for the shock um but the fork's working pretty good i'll stick like a little thing uh in the side of the screen just now just to show you like an example of what the fork readings look like um but all in all the data is really interesting and we're nerding pretty hard um while we're looking through it i only did a couple timed runs today the last timed run i did was around about seven seconds faster than my timed run uh, from the other day from day one i felt like um i'm not quite sure why i was faster today other than maybe getting more comfortable on the track but it was more slick today in areas but i think if i can get under the 230 by the weekend which i think is definitely possible um if i can feel more comfortable on the bike i feel like at the moment on the bike i'm at a limit as far as i'm kind of happy with it but i think to make some changes and get like the thinner grips on and everything that'll be a little bit easier on my hands um and then we make some tweaks to the suspension and then also tire pressures kush core like all the stuff that we brought with us i'd like to try and then if we can get that time down and i feel like i'm more comfortable then that's the goal so uh stay tuned for those videos make sure you give this one a like if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you're new here then give me a subscribe you'll stay tuned for all the future videos that um are coming up thanks for watching uh, we'll see you in the next one Don't put that in.